Hello, my name's Daniel. Today, we're reading Wanda's Words Got Stuck by Lucy Rowland and Paula Bowles. So get comfy and I'll begin. Wanda the witch liked tall hats and black cats and cauldrons and potions and broomsticks and bats. She liked to arrive nice and early at school and read to herself as she sat on her stool. The classroom was calm with no bustle or din before the big rush when her class all came in. See, there was one thing Wanda worried about. It was talking. She tried, but no words would come out. It made her feel nervous, so shy and so small. No wonder just didn't like talking at all. But one day she thought, I must try to be brave. Then maybe my words will know how to behave. So in registration, she puffed out her chest. Today she'd say, here miss, like all of the rest. First, Isabel answered, then Sam and Jake too, and Wanda was next, but her words stuck like glue. Then suddenly, there was a knock at the door, and in came a girl she'd not seen before. Miss Cobweb said, this is Flo's very first day. Let's make her feel welcome. Now what do we say? Hello! shouted everyone, all in a rush. And Flo felt so shy that she started to blush. Now, some words are meant well, but come out all wrong. And some are important, and ever so long. Some words can be brave, even if they're just small. And sometimes you find... You don't need words at all. So Wanda just quietly waited a while, then gave a small wave and a very big smile. She thought, maybe Flo's feeling shy, just like me. Flo waved back at Wanda and seemed to agree. And Wanda and Flo played together that day. There wasn't too much that they needed to say. Flo smiled at her friend, and then Wanda just knew, though she never quite said it, she'd found a friend too. The next day, in Spell's class, Miss Cobweb said, Right! The school magic contest is next Friday night! You all need to show us an animal spell. Poor Wanda went red as she felt quite unwell. Flo squeezed her hand tight. We can practice, she said. But Wanda, uncertain, just nodded her head. They practiced each day after school in the park, trying spell after spell as it slowly turned dark. Just one more! Flo promised. Let's give a big shout! And Wanda tried hard, but no words would come out. The night of the contest, the school was so busy, and Flo was excited, but Wanda felt dizzy. Miss Cobweb called out, Let's put your skills to the test! It's time for the spells. Flo and Jake, do your best. Then Wanda watched closely and waited her turn. Her tummy felt funny and started to churn. Jake lifted his wand and a black cat appeared. And Flo took a breath as the audience cheered. She conjured a... Dog! And the dog chased Jake's cat. 
<laughs> Jake magicked a... Lion! They thought that was that! Then Flo started chanting a spell. Hubble Bubble! She conjured a... Dragon! Oh, he looked like trouble! Now, breathing out fire, the dragon swooped low and turned with a whoosh towards terrified Flo. Flo gripped her wand tight, but then, what awful luck! She couldn't remember her words. She was stuck! But then came a flash and a boom, wallop, bam! as Wanda the Witch shouted, Alakazam! And poof! Then the animals all disappeared. Flo hugged her best friend as the cloud of smoke cleared. Hooray! the class shouted. Their cheers were so loud that Wanda just beamed and felt ever so proud. Now Wanda the Witch likes to practice her spells and giggle with Flo when they don't go too well and chat with her friends during lunch in the hall. But sometimes she just doesn't need words at all. Thanks for listening. See you next time.